When we first started thinking about driving a supercar off the slopes, it sounded like a great idea. So we're like, yeah, let's do it. But when it came to it and we arrived to the snow, it, uh, it kind of hit me that I have no idea if this is going to work at all. So kind of planning out angles, what slopes to do, was super difficult because we, we, we couldn't ask anyone because no one had taken a car like that up a slope before. Then we brought the heli up in the air and all of a sudden I have a heli in front of me and I'm like, I can't hold back now. Like if that heli's there shooting, I need to hit the full gas. So I ended up going a lot faster than I would have liked to because I mean, I was not in control that whole time. I mean, it might look like we're not turning that much and and that we could have done more, but I think honestly with that car, we got images that are way, way better than I could ever imagine. And it's been cool to have a vision in my head on a car I wanted to build and then actually have it finished. It's been a great test and I feel like if the car can do that, then I can go to Gumball and, and not be worried at all. So we're done, it's a wrap. We got all the shots, we're packing up. Everyone's super stoked. It's time to get out of here. Thanks to everyone. To be honest, taking this to the next level is not easy at all. I mean, it's basically impossible, but I have a couple ideas. I was sitting in the shower this morning and I thought of a couple things that could add to this video and, you know, I want to make another one, but we need to make sure that it's way cooler and have something different in it. It'll take some planning, but I think we got it. <laughs>